Today's video is sponsored by W Generalist Energy Blend, formulated to give you the focus and energy with no jitters or crash. Their formula contains vitamins, amino acids, and nootropics, including the patented Neurofactor. With more than 10 different flavors to enjoy and start your day strong. Are you ready to try Dubby? Visit Dubby.gg today and use promo code AROWAN to save 10% on your purchase today. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys do enjoy our content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And without any further ado, let's get to today's video. To anybody out there, if you're not a heavy gamer or you're probably hiding under a rock, this is the year 2024, which marks the 30th anniversary for Sony PlayStation that has been out in Japan and is soon to come out in the U.S. Uh, within the same year. So it's been about 30 years, 30 years, guys, for Sony PlayStation. And what better way to celebrate than with a package from eBay? So I'm going to go ahead, without showing any information, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, this is something that I had when it first came out, and I ended up giving it as a gift to a friend of mine a few years ago. And I figure now would be a good time to, you know, at least get another one. Just so you guys can see how this is. So, packaged it real good, okay? I hope it's in its original casing, too. All right, so we got packing paper. We got packing paper. Did they put it in the original boxing? Yes, they did. This shipper did a really amazing job. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we're going to carefully take off the bubble wrap here, which is taped to the package. And if you guys are wondering what this package is, it is the Sony PlayStation Classic. And just by looking at it, it looks like the box isn't actually pretty good condition i might say like they must have took really good care of this um but yeah this came out back in i think 2017 2018 and this was at the hype for it and it comes with 20 preloaded classic games as you guys can see games from resident evil director's cut tekken 3 siphon filter twisted metal metal gear solid destruction derby Cool Borders 2, Grand Theft Auto, and more. Now, I'm going to open this up carefully because I'm like, you know what? This box is, oh, oh, it's already open. Okay. So they already did cut the cap. They already did cut the tape. Okay. So let's open it. I'm going to pull out uh, the inside box. Here we go. Yeah, everything looks pretty good intact. They really package this up pretty good. So we got the, uh, the classic manual for the device and we just open up this box right here and there's a box within a box and I like this you know it's also got the uh, the Sony logo the PlayStation logo on it there as well and here it is I'm gonna open this up so you guys can get a better view of this so this is the PlayStation Classic. Very small in comparison because the other, the original one actually is like three or four times the size of this. So this is a mini and it, it comes with, okay, so you got your power adapter and you got a HDMI uh, plug in right there. And I think this opens as well. I can't remember. No, that doesn't open. But if you remember with the original PlayStations, they had this parallel port door on the back. Or you can take it off and you can plug in third-party devices such as Game Shark and, su and such. And this is supposed to have two controllers to it. They're both USB. I'm pretty sure you could probably plug in any controller that's USB. And from when I last played, okay, so the power button turns the console on and the open button switches the games around. So now we can just take the other part of the box and open it up. There's a lot to this. I'm going to put the box uh, back together. Okay, so they gave me... Oh, wow. That's a very mighty extensive power cord, or um, HDMI cord, actually. And here is the um, the power adapter. That's very long, too. Hopefully, hopefully, this one does fit in it. I believe so. Yes, it does. So we got the 
power cable to it. Uh, we got the HDMI cable to it. Looks like there is a, yep, there's a PlayStation 1 controller still in its packaging, and it is USB. I just wonder if I could play this on PC. I'll have to try that out sometime. And there is a secondary controller as well that comes with. This one's not packaged at all. And what's odd about this, when I got it, so apparently this is a 8-bit uh, Dio. It's, I don't know, it's a wireless dongle or whatever. This has a switch dock. Okay, this is make sure you uh, pro controller wired communication is on. Uh, PS Classic hotkey. And PS4 entering pairing mode. So from what I gathered, there's that. Oh, and, they, and also include it. A true blue crackhead 64 gig um, flash drive. Now, from what I've read, and I'm going to have to pull it up here for you guys real quick. So, reading up on the eBay order that I got with this, it did explain that there's an 8 bit do Bluetooth adapter and a true blue um, crackhead pack with extra games. And this is 64, game, 64 gigs. So, hey, there's some extra games that she added along the way. So, thank you to this person who I purchased this from. That is a really nice addition uh, to this. I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I already know how to crack it. I already know how to put a uh, flash drive on there and crack it. But the way to play them is you would plug this into the uh, second port of the of the console. And there's a way of getting like an adapter to play with both, uh, um, <laughs> both controllers for the uh, first plug-in. But... That's, a, that's not complicated at all, but people have done some things to uh, crack these things. But yeah, this is a pretty good, uh, a bit, this is pr a pretty good amount for this, uh, what I purchased. And it was only around, I think it, I think I only paid, yeah, it was only $50 and I paid for shipping. So it, it came to about $62, $63, you know, with shipping, but for 50 bucks. And that's pretty much all the, that's pretty much how much this console cost about seven years ago when you bought it in stores. Well, I think it was up to 100, and then they brought it down to 50 because people were complaining about it having only 20 games, and there's only, like, just a handful of games that were good, and the other half is like, what the fuck? You know, you couldn't give us a, a console with, you know, a good amount of games, but it is what it is for a good price, and, and, and that, that's hard to beat. So what do you think, guys? What do you think about this console? I'm going to give you some gameplay footage alongside. And do, have you bought one of these? Have you ever owned one of these? Please let me know down in the comments section what your thoughts of this is. And I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay here in a little bit. So let's take a look at that. I got this plugged in. Um, and when you go to plug it in via power, give it a couple seconds to light up if it doesn't light up right away when you turn it on. But when you turn it on... The light next to the power button is supposed to turn yellow and then when you push it on it'll turn green and it'll come up to the screen like this now normally the actual game it's the actual console itself comes with 20 preloaded games but as i stated the person who sold it to me gave me a flash drive that has a ton of preloaded games as you can see so let's go through a lot of these like this is this is insane like it starts with D diablo digimon Oh my god, Dino Crisis. I miss playing Dino Crisis. And she's got one and two. Disruptor, that's a good game. Driver, oh my god. Who doesn't remember Driver? Einhander, that's a really good 3D, 2D uh, fighting game, uh, shooter game. Uh, we got, ooh, we got Final Fantasy. Oh shit, Final Fantasy VIII. We don't have no Final Fantasy VII, that's okay. We got Gex, we got Grand Theft Auto, Harvest Moon. I never heard of Hogs of War. Uh, Hot Shots Golf, that's a really good uh, golf game for it. Uh, Klonoa, that's a good game. Soul Reaver, oh, we got Leg what was it? Legend of Lagaya. Legend of Mana, Madden 98. I actually had Madden 98 way back when on PlayStation. I got it at a um, uh, flea market. I think we only paid like $10 for it. Medieval, uh, these are really good games. They're tough as hell. But they were really good, especially if you're into, like, action horror games, something like that. They are good to play around uh, Halloween time. Mega Man Legends, X4, uh, MLB 2000. I had MLB 2000. That was my favorite 
baseball game back in the day. Uh, one Need for Speed. Oh my God, NFL Blitz. Let me tell you, I was the shit at Blitz back on N64, guys. NHL Face Off, um, Odd World. We got Parappa the Rapper. Yes, Persona. Oh, we got all three. We got all three. Resident Evils. Yes. Uh, Saga, Frontier, Shanghai. All oh, this looks like Mai Jong, Sim City, uh, Simpsons Racing, Soul Blade. We got all three Spyro the Dragons. Nice. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Uh, uh, I think it's called uh, Suikuten. I, f I forgot how to pronounce the name of it. Uh, Siphon Filter, of course. Those were good um, stealth based games. Tactics Ogre. Don't think I've heard of that. Tales of Destiny. Uh, we got all three tech ends, guys. We got Tenchu, Tetris Plus, oh, those Tiger Woods. We got all three uh, Tomb Raider games. Tomba. Those are good RPG games there. Tony Hawk. Oh, we got Twisted Metal too. Wait a minute. I thought Twisted Metal was included on this, though. Yeah, there's no Twisted Metal. Did it override the original games, though? Maybe it goes in order. I don't know. Maybe the order I'm playing is. Okay, Nit Nitro. Oh, my God. Back in seventh grade, I had a buddy who had this game, and we were into watching Nitro every Monday night, and he let me borrow it, and I had a blast playing this game over that weekend. Wild Arms, Wipeout. Uh, we got SmackDown 2, Xena, Alundra, Legacy of Kane, Brave Fence. Oh, this is a really good um, RPG from Squaresoft. I love that game. No, I don't see any of the games that come with the console i guess those you actually have to unplug the usb adapter from just to play those like let's see well um, if i turn the power off here okay, and this is the library without the flash drive so apparently the flash drive overrides everything that's on the console itself so we got metal gear solid mr driller odd world rayman Resident Evil uh, Director's Cut. Uh, what's this? Revelations Persona, Ridge Racer, Super Puzzle Fighter, huh. Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, Wild Arms, Cool Borders, uh, whatever Battle Arena Toshinden is, and Destruction Derby. Now, there's my Final Fantasy VII I was looking for. Let's go into one of these games and load it up. Now, I know a buddy of mine, uh, he's thinking about buying one of these, and he asked does this game have a save feature? I believe so. Yes, there's a memory card for each game. There's a virtual memory card where you can delete games and save them. You know, you can save games too and delete them. Uh, different settings for screensaver off, uh, initiate console, uh, default settings, power settings, and such. So this console has them all. So let's play some Tekken 3. Show you guys how well this thing plays. Yes, there is the... Um, there's the uh, music for it. Now, when it comes to a lot of these ROMs, these preloaded ROMs, guys, they do they're 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 set up as ROMs basically. So it's um it's gonna be a little bit different than what they are on um actual disc. Uh, let's see how the latency. Is. The latency should be good because it's plugged in. It's plugged in directly. And the whole console is 4.3. It's its standard Round definition, one. so you don't have to worry about stretching it out. But I think you can stretch it out. Yes, I, I can't believe it. I'm sold. Like, I, I don't even know why I sold my original one years ago. But this is pretty tense, guys. You say I used to play the hell out of Tekken 3 back in the day. This was one of my games. I got it when it was like a greatest hits at the store. Remember a lot of like, like the good titles back in the day? Like they were greatest hits. Like they were the best selling uh, titles for PlayStation back in the day. They had the greatest hits, uh, greatest hits of uh, strip on the side. And I think to quit back to the um, console, let's see. Yeah, we just push open. Can't change discs. Start of the game. Hit the reset button. Where is the reset? Oh, there is a reset button. Okay. 
So the reset Ooh. button does work above it. So you got the reset button. Oh yeah, you can also resume your game from uh, where you left off at. You can save it. Me, I really don't want to um, resume play, but you can if you want to wherever you're at. So yeah. So yeah, guys, that is the PlayStation uh, Classic that came out a few years ago, like I said. And that's all it comes with. It's the 20 games. But if you look online, if you have a flash drive you can you can have i think you can have higher than a 64 gig uh, flash drive which is what this is and you can just preload games on there and load it up on there and i think with this 8-bit do what that's what this is is a wireless dongle for a playstation 4 controller that you can plug into it wirelessly so i think that's pretty cool but i think for um better results uh just plugging a controller in directly reduces latency on it so you don't have as much latency for it but yeah are you guys ready to play um sony classic playstation this is a this is a really good purchase it's a really good find i'm glad i was able to find it on ebay hopefully you guys if you want to purchase it you can find it for a good price as well and hopefully hopefully you guys are able to so if you guys are able to grab one check it out let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you already own one? What do you think about this? Give me your thoughts down below. Also, thank you guys so much for today's video. Be sure you hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Thank you for making it to the end, and we'll see you in the next one.